when this is good. Good? Alright, what's going on, guys and gals? Oh, sorry, I'll let you start it. What? Yeah, okay. it's taping. What's go? Never. You do it. You do. Oh it's rolling. <laughs> Here's your chance. Whatever. All right, hey, never mind. What's going on, guys? Kills, and we are back. We're back for another fun edition of Sideshow Saturday. And what we got for you today Merry is Merry Christmas, everybody. Holiday edition, new it's Mountain Dew, Merry Mashup. So this is Christmas, like. Three or four months early. Ladies and gentlemen, we travel back in time to get this shit. It's this, October! This was in the stores of uh, 2018. Yeah, Wait, so it, pause if you want to read your nutrients. But it's October! Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm not cutting that part out. Yeah. No, I wouldn't either. <laughs> yeah, holiday Fresh. limited edition Mountain Dew mm -hmm. Merry Mash Up. Cranberry pomegranate flavors with other natural flavors. It's Mountain Dew. Which means Yahoo! It's I'm going to be hopped up on sugar and it's almost night. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but you know what? I mean, when you, drink a, when you drink a Mountain Dew, you need something to snack on, right? And since we already did combos last week, sorry we don't have pepperoni or pizza or whatever the flavor it is. We got us something very interesting tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We've got... What the flavor is this? This is... Good Things... The beef one. Beef one, not beef. beef. They, they look beef like little chips. Oh, they're beet. Oh, okay, like beet, red beets. Red beet flavored chips. With, there, if you want to pause. With balsamic vinegar. And then you got your little internet code. Sea salt. This is supposedly supposed to be like healthy food. Oh. No, it Made I by, oh, I didn't see that at first. Nabisco. Yeah, let me see the bottom the of that. Nabisco. Woohoo. Ding. Uh, it's actually part of Mondelez International. DHL owns those, which is the company I work for. So, this probably came from uh, DHL. Yeah, yeah, bring that to work and be like. Are you sponsoring this? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the goods. No artificial colors, no artificial flavors, no cholesterol, no high fructose corn syrup. It's made with potatoes, beets, and wheat. Wow. Is it holy, or is that my question? I, I don't know. I We just saw... Where did we get this, babe? Is it like Aldi's or something? No. I don't even know where Corns. we got it. Carnes. Carnes. Yes, thank you. Oh, and maybe I knew later. it wasn't Aldi's. I don't see them there. Certain and size, later. 23 pieces? Uh, How many pieces are in the box? <sighs> About three and a half servings per container. So, as usual, as tradition, we're going to do the opening of the box test, the opening of the bag test, the serving test, the lick test, the taste test, all the good stuff. A and later this week, later this week, we are going to do a Sour Patch Kids. So, we're going to open that up. Yes, oh, our, the, uh, the Sour Patch Kids cereal. Or we've already done them as of this video. Well, yeah, those things are still thawing, but he's talking about the cereal, which we'll get to. So, wow, this box is tough to open. Not for if you're if you're so, drunk, you're probably gonna be happy. So it's in a oh, it's a silver bag. That means it must be good. Not really. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. Exactly. Trying to make a home joke. That's right. No. They smell like regular crackers. Okay, let's hear. All right, let's uh, look what they. They look yeah, red, but they're like they smell like regular crackers. I was what do they look like, like inside? There you go. That was easy to open. Pretty dang easy. Oh, they're really red. Well, yeah. Really I mean, look at them. They're like beets. They're made with beets, red beets. Do you like red beets, dog? They're okay. I've, I don't think I've ever tried a red beet. Yeah, I'm. I just tried like my first red beet this summer. It's so we'll just pour I have never just a had few a out. We're not gonna, wow. We're not gonna go too crazy with these because they're brand new and. Oh, it smells. Made with balsamic vinegar and sea salt. We got good thins, the beet one. Let's try it. Yeah. Clear burst. Mom, try it. I don't like it. Multi. I hate it. Dog apparently likes them. I'll do multi. I feel like they'd be good on a salad. Yeah. 
Like I said, with croutons, you can try this. Especially your fruit salads. Yeah. Okay, so, I, as you can see, I already opened this. Um, where is a glass? Because, or, just drink out of the bottle. You want a glass? Yeah, big glass. We'll show what, the, what it looks like They're in okay. glass. Yeah, they're nothing to write home about. They're, they're healthy. That's Actually, about it. That's about all I can say. So, and he just poured it into a glass to show what it looks like, even though the bottle is completely transparent. <laughs> does it? Does dark red look anything like this? I don't. Know. I don't think it's dark red. It looks more. That's pink. what. It, that's what it looks like in the bottle. That's what it looks like in the bottle. I'm gonna go ahead and get a swig of this. Of the Mountain Dew Merry Mashup. Come on, you want a Do you want a swig of this? Does it taste like Code Red? Let's find out. No. It does not taste like Code Red. No. It actually tastes it doesn't even smell like it either. So I'm going to do yeah, the Mid Holiday Edition. This is good. New Mountain Dew Merry Mashup. Let's try it. Merry Christmas, everyone. I'll have the whole thing. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Kiss my ass. Kiss his ass. Kiss your sure. ass. Happy Hanukkah. Christmas vacation. A tradition in both of our houses. <coughs> Yes, and we I saw the movie. You and I movie. saw the movie in theaters in 1989 at the same time. Yes. The best part back then was when the cat got fried. What? I like, I like the sledding myself. The sled. That was good too. The sled scene. Definitely a cranberry taste. I like it. That's a solid five. Last that. Level. Last that. The hey, Griswold, we're gonna put a tree that big. Bend over and I'll show you. Got a lot of nerve talking to you like that, Griswold. I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> got an awesome movie. Wow. Um. Everybody talking about movies when we should be talking about this. The Mountain Dew, obviously, is Mountain Dew. It's actually pretty good. It's cranberry flavored. I think there's it's pomegranate good. flavor in there. I saw it five. David yeah, gives it a five. The beats. As you heard me say three times, zero. He did not like the beats. I I thought they were actually good, honestly. I didn't mind them. I agree with Ash. Um, you crush them up onto a salad, they'd probably be pretty banging. Do we have a salad, or did you eat all of your salad? I thought they just tasted like a standard cracker, honestly. Yeah, it's just a standard. There was no beet flavor whatsoever in a that. A standard balsamic vinegar cracker. That's all Three and a half. Give it, it's respectable. I the beet and not the balsamic vinaigrette. Really? That tasted very beady to me. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, like I said, I'm not an expert on beets, so I don't really know like, what they taste Mountain like. Mountain Dew, I'll give it a four. You just drunk the whole thing. Why didn't you leave any for me? <laughs> you had yours. Yeah, I'll give that a four. I'll give the uh, Mountain Dew a four. There's still some... The, uh, <laughs> the good things? Three and a half. Yeah, it's all right. It's something different. Give me that for school. I'll be a hyped up. Crush, crush that up into, into a salad. That tastes eh. pretty good. And uh, supposedly it's well, 130 calories. Saturated fat, 3%. That's not good. Sodium, 7%. Not good. <coughs> Carbs, 8%. The purple's good. 8%. Not good. There, There's nothing healthy about these chips. What the hell, man? They're probably better than potatoes. Oh, that is true. Where? Nothing's healthier but than potato chips. Hold on, let's go back in the past. We're going to take you back in the past now. <laughs> oh, man, we got these wavy, sweet, and tangy barbecue chips. Let's see how, uh, how what their calories are. We got 12% saturated fat. I'm sorry, 13% saturated fat. Total carbs, 6%. Uh, 2%. Uh, yeah, so... Judging by this, the beet chips are definitely way better than the wavy Pringles chips. So, we're going to go ahead and go back to the future. <coughs> Great Scott! I'm from the future! Great Scott, Marty! 1.21 gigawatts, Marty! You do realize we're past 2015. I know. <laughs> what? I still love this movie. You don't get it. What? 
We need to sit down. 80s and we'll, movies, man. We need to sit down and watch the back. I'm, you know, I'm just. I have the trilogy. So do we. I'm just confused on like you said Morty, so I was like, what, Rick and Morty? No, not Rick and Morty. <laughs> See, like they don't have Marty. Marty. Marty they don't McDonald. have actual hoverboards yet. Marty McFly. Anyway, we hope you. Enjoy, we hope you enjoyed tonight's episode featuring the holiday edition of Mountain Dew and beet chips. And movie references. And Back to the Future references. And Christmas vacation references. One point, one point two one zero watch, Marty. Great Scott. All right, we'll see you next time.